Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to go charge the EV6. So at the moment I am about to exit uh, Seven Hills, Abbott Road, Seven Hills, Blacktown, Parramatta. So we're on the M2 just before the, it merges into the M7. We're at the exit to Abbott Road. There's an EV charger supposedly that is going to hit up to 350 kilowatts. So we're going to give it a go and I'm essentially recording now to show you guys um, how to get there if you are coming off from the highway and um, we'll show you guys around. So as you come off the M2, um, up ahead here is Old Windsor Road um, and I might get in the left lane as I know it's somewhere up ahead. So this is Old Windsor Road, so in front of us, the crossroad that we're about to cross now. Going left is Parramatta, going right goes to the hills. And so from memory, it's I think near the Ampole, that's just up ahead over here, somewhere there. So we'll turn in here. So there's a Guzman Gomez, you will see Ampole, Hungry Jacks, and it looks like it's just up ahead. So there it is. So you just come in here and it's just at the end over here just where the drive through is. And there's a Nissan ENV 200 here as well. Japanese import. All right, we're parked. So just a quick review on our consumption for the time being. So, so far on this, I guess, full tank or full charge, it was 100%. We've driven 311.3 uh, kilometers. It's using an average of 16.3 kilowatt hours per 100 Ks. And we spent total time of 13 hours and 32 minutes. And it's saying here that uh, we can do another 148 kilometers uh, on the tank. So, yeah, let's get charging. And now it's on 31%. So we'll see how quick we get. All right, so 146Ks, 31% state of charge. Let's go. Forgot we need to turn off the car to get out properly. All right, so you can see here, Ampole. So touch that there, that should open. And then I believe it says here, connect, connect the plug. So presume this one here is the uh, CCS one. Nope, that's not the one. This must be the one. There it is. And on this one here, oh, you've got to remove the cap. And then you've got it here. So that's plugged in, and then it says go to the app. So says please wait it's communicating with the vehicle so we'll jump into the app so on the app over here it's pulled up location hopefully you guys can see that and this one's in use at the moment so this one's the one that's for free Hit. so station four don't know if we need to update the car but let's just hit start charging and see how we go. So it's just asking to 
confirm payment. Payment accepted. Starting to charge. So on the phone, that's essentially what you can see. Station number four, 350 kilowatt, estimated cost zero, time lapse zero. So it's just starting at the moment. So fingers crossed, looks like nothing's happening yet. Mm -hmm. oh, here we go. So there's the power ramping up. Let's see how fast it goes. We're going to hit the magic 200. Really close. Come on. Just one more. There we go, the magic 200. Let's go see what this looks like in the car. So this is what it looks like in the car. I'll hold that a bit closer. So with the car off, it essentially shows 39 minutes to charge 100, 35%. Um, 16 minutes to 80%, so that's pretty impressive. And charging average between 199 to 201 kilometers. And you can see how quick that uh, kilometer range is increasing on the bottom over here. And I'm not too sure if you could hit uh, on power button. Let's try. So it looks like you can still start up the car. So you can definitely start up all the electrics. So, oh look, we hit 230 kilowatts. 231 232 so let's see uh, what does this say so this just shows the location at the moment and just the general status let's see what else we can see not much more information you can see here so it really looks like all the information is basically here so it looks like uh, 232 kilowatts now this is pretty impressive even though it's a 350 kilowatt charger 232 233 and so forth so not bad let's go have a look around so just having a look out here as well it's uh, 233, 234 kilowatts, 46% state of charge, only in four minutes. So it's done about 15% so far, I think, off the top of my head. It's, it's quite good. So here's the car itself. Again, thanks Kia Australia for the loaner car for the week. And so around here, as you can see, there's Bunnings, you can do some shopping there. There's a Hungry Jacks there. There's a Guzman and Gomez, and there is also an Ampol. And there's obviously bathrooms in all of those, so help yourself what you need, do what you need, um, have a stretch, get some food, and then come back into your car and Bob's your uncle, you should be done. So again, it's, it's charging even a little bit faster now, so 235 kilowatts. And we're currently already at 50, uh, 50 just over 50%. So. This 350 kilowatt unit, it is tritium. Um, I know people have had previous feedback that it hasn't been amazing, 
but this one is working and it's charged pretty well, pretty quick. And there is also a JDM import uh, van over here next to me. Uh, this one here is a uh, ENV200 and it looks like it's only charging at I think about uh, what is it 11 kilowatts or something so a bit slower uh, so it seems like once it's topped up past 50% it has uh, the speed has significantly dropped so you can see now it's gone from 53 54 down to 154 So what I'm going to do now is just quickly show you guys uh, what you see on the app when, when you're charging. So hold on a moment, let me just load that up. Okay, so over here hopefully you guys can see that. There it says you're charging. Station number four, which is the fourth cable over here. It's a 350 kilowatt unit. Energy delivered, it says their updates every 60 seconds estimated costs 45 cents time elapsed one minute that's clearly incorrect so we hit pass and go back to active or we might click out of this okay maybe we'll kill the app it's clearly not working okay round two so jump to charge So we've loaded up the app again and clearly it seems like it's uh, frozen. Um, it's not showing much more. So there you go. Maybe uh, Tritium isn't that good after all based on previous feedback. But um, look, the car is still definitely charging. 58%, 154 kilowatt, now 155. So like I said, the app looks like it's frozen or doesn't work. Maybe that's just me. Um, but what else you see is, give me a moment, I'll just move, uh, check my phone. So I did get this message here down the bottom, message from EV, charging started for HS016. And I think there was also an email that we got. Uh, this here that says uh, charging started for HS016. And uh, yeah, look, there's there's not much more to it. You can see now, so after 50%, I said it dropped down from 230 to 150. Now at 60%, it's now dropped to 130. Um, and it's pumped in 25 kilowatt hours in eight minutes. So there you guys have it. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, drop it in the comments box below or down, um, down in the bottom. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. And this is essentially the location. So I'll pan, I'll pan the, the video across again so you guys can see. And we've just got another visitor here as well. But again, uh, thanks Kia for the loaner vehicle for the week. Hope you guys found this video helpful in terms of the location and everything. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. This is the 350 kilowatt charger. We hit, I think, 236 kilowatts at most, and then it started to cap down. So, uh, yeah, like and subscribe for more content, and we'll see you soon.